Uh, welcome back to CNN This Morning. We are anticipating word from law enforcement at any moment, uh, an update on this deadly mass shooting in Monterey Park, California. It appears that law enforcement is approaching the microphone as we speak right now. At least nine people killed there, Amra. Yeah, let's listen in. Hey, good evening, everybody. Um, I'm Captain Andrew Meyer from uh, Sheriff's Homicide. I'm, gonna, I'm here to talk to you about the uh, mass shooting incident that occurred here in the city of Monterey Park. Uh, this evening, or last night actually, at approximately 10.22 p.m., officers from the Monterey Park Police Department responded to a local business in the 100 block of West Garvey Avenue in the city of Monterey Park regarding a shots fired call. When officers arrived on scene, they observed numerous individuals, patrons of the location, pouring out of the location, uh, screaming. The uh, officers made entry to the location and located additional victims. <clears throat> the Monterey Park Police uh, Fire Department responded to the scene and treated the injured and pronounced 10 of the victims deceased at the scene. There were at least 10 additional victims that were transported to numerous local hospitals and are listed in various conditions from stable to critical. Uh, the suspect fled the scene and remains outstanding. Uh, anyone with information regarding uh, this incident, we're asking them to call uh, LA Sheriff's Homicide at 323-890-5500 uh, or if you refer, prefer to remain anonymous, uh, you can call Crime Stoppers at 800-222-8477. Uh, Homicide Bureau is working closely uh, with Chief Scott Weiss and his agency at the Monterey Park Police Department. Uh, we're working with the California Governor's Office of Emergency Services, uh, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, LA office, and numerous other law enforcement agencies. Um, with that, I'll, I'll take a limited amount of questions, if anybody. Uh, no, sir, as far as motive goes, it's too early in the investigation to uh, know what the motive is. Uh, no, sir, not at this time. No, no description on a suspect at this time. Uh, all I can tell you is that it was a firearm that was used um, and no other information on as far as the firearm right now. The suspect is outstanding, that's correct. Uh, the location is, uh, there was a ballroom, it's like a ballroom dance uh, location. Captain, was there a second location as well? Uh, we're aware of a, uh, an incident that occurred in Alhambra, and we have investigators on scene uh, trying to determine if there's a connection between these two incidents. Um, so we're, the investigators are, are working every lead on this case. Obviously we have all our resources here, uh, a limited amount of resources. We have resources from various law enforcement agencies. We're reviewing all surveillance video, any surveillance video, um, following all leads. So we're, we're not going to leave anything unturned. Uh, no, not at this time. It's preliminary. Uh, we will have more information. As more information becomes available regarding the suspect, we'll put that information out to you guys. Uh, yes, sir. We have uh, 10 that are deceased at the scene and an additional, we believe, at least 10 at local hospitals. Uh, everywhere, anywhere from uh, critical to stable. Captain, I know you said no motive is known, but do you think that the suspect may have known the, the victims? Is there any connection there that you know? As far as the suspect knowing any of the victims, it's too early in the investigation. Uh, we do not know that information at this time. Uh, that's, yeah, we don't know if it's targeted. Do we know anything about the victims? How old they are? Who they are? Uh, no, we don't know how old they are. Um, I'll just take two more questions and, and that's it. We will update you guys further. Uh, 
I'm, this is just a preliminary briefing. We're going to have a lot more information uh, to share with you in the in the, in the future, in was the there a coming hours. Covered at that second location, we heard reports that possibly civilians had disarmed a possible suspect. That's something that we're investigating, and uh, we'll have additional information about that. Uh, we will look at every angle as far as whether it's a hate crime or not. It's just too early in the investigation to know whether it, this incident was a hate crime or not. Is the festival canceled tomorrow or is it still going on? Um, you know, I'm going to have the chief answer that question. Um, chief? Sure. The festival that occurred uh, Saturday also extended to Sunday. Out of an abundance of caution and in reverence for the victims, we are canceling the event that's going to happen later today. So the Lunar Festival here in Monterey Park has been canceled. Uh, uh, just, just two more questions. Do we know anyone injured at that second uh, shooting? Uh, no, not that I'm aware of. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if there's any injuries or not. I, they we're still investigating. Any, one other question? Uh, within the next few hours. Yeah. Uh, thank you, everybody. Can you say your name for me? I'm sure. Andrew Meyer. Could you spell, uh, spell Meyer? Sure, M E Y E R. All right. The title? Uh, Captain, um, LA Sheriff's Homicide. Thank you, everybody. Okay, so we just heard an update from the L.A. County Sheriff's Department. So the new numbers, and I hate to say numbers because these are humans, these are people who had lives, 10 people dead in this mass shooting in Monterey Park, California. This is just east of Los Angeles, a suburb there. We know that there are 10 additional victims, according to police, who have been taken to the hospital. Um, there are injuries ranging... Um, just taking the range, uh, some in stable, um, some in critical condition. And we know that there is a suspect, the gunman, who is now on the run.